What's up guys, Tony here, Monday, December 18th, hope you are doing well. Uh, I got some great Ripple news. Uh, Ripple itself actually announced this today on their website um, about a major partnership and use case uh, with a major bank in uh, Thailand. But before we get into that, let's quickly take a look at coin market cap at where uh, Ripple is currently performing, uh, currently holding the number four spot. Um, Ripple has actually surprised me because it's been kind of holding a steady line within the 70s, um, being 70 cents, um, and which is kind of looks like the new uh, plateau or the new threshold for them. Uh, because as you guys, if you've been following Ripple, they've been in the 20s for a long time, months and months. And then we had this jump uh, up to the 70s and it hasn't really, even though there was some small correction, it hasn't dipped or crashed back down to 20 or 30 or whatever it is. It's actually been holding in the 70s, which is a great sign. Um, and right now it's trading at about 80 cents per XRP. Um, and as I said here, uh, you know, there's some small corrections and so forth. Uh, but look at this, guys. Steady line, steady trend here. So great sign uh, because we're all waiting for Ripple to hit that one dollar uh, mark, and um, then I think there's you know definitely more room to grow in 2018. And what's going to facilitate that growth are use cases like this that was reported today by Ripple, which I think is pretty awesome. Now, it may seem like, okay, this is one bank in Thailand, but I think what's important here is the type of use case. And we're going to go 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 through the details because Ripple's working already with over 100 plus financial institutions and banks. Um, but this one um, it really is unique and it solves a unique situation or issue. Uh, we've also talked about, you know, kind of banks in, in, in uh, United Arab Emirates and uh, Philippines and so forth. The, you know, those those use cases where workers are sending money back home, um, you know, those maybe like, for example, from India who go to the, the United Arab Emirates to work um, in, in their booming construction economy and uh, they have to send money back home and Ripple's working with the banks there to facilitate that. So you got that that use case and this one is pretty, pretty unique. So uh, I'm going to try my best to pronounce the name of this bank. <laughs> so if I butcher it, I apologize, but um, it's it's it, I would, I'm going to pronounce it Krungzi, Krungstri or Krungsri. Um, and it's one of the largest banks in Thailand, and it's now using RippleNet. And I believe it's probably one of the first of its kind with crypto and, and an industrial use case. So Krungzi now uses Ripple's enterprise blockchain network to help a large South East Asian petrochemical company to send real-time cross-border payments to its foreign customers, a first for financial institutions in the Thai region. So you have one of the largest banks who are using Ripple, using RippleNet, um, and really kind of bridge, bridging the gap between uh, blockchain and crypto with, with you know, sending payments and so forth. Um, now, by using RippleNet, Krungzi is not is not only able to provide a real-time cross-border payment flow for the petrochemical company, but also provide complete transparency into when the payment would be received. So they can really pinpoint when payments are going to be sent and received because Ripple is so fast. And, um, you know, it, it's it's really amazing technology and that that you know this is why i'm a big believer in ripple um, i know a lot of folks from an ideology standpoint because we love bitcoin and and you know what it represents but at the same time we can't stop ripple or you know as a company or the banks um we can obviously continue to push bitcoin and bitcoin still has its issues but ripple really is really looking to service the banks and global payment transfers and so forth um a collaboration between Krungzi and the large petrochemical company was born from a common pain point for most corporates. Customers were dissatisfied with the lack of speed and visibility into cross-border payments. So Ripple is solving a problem. And anytime you're a company and you're solving, solving a problem, you have lasting potential. And if you're working with banks, guys, where there's we're talking about billions of dollars. We're talking global payments here. Um, it's really unprecedented. If you really think about it, um, where banks are going to be using a common platform to send money, it makes it easier, lowers their costs, increases speed, more transparency. Um, that's going to kind of 
propel banks and and the future of payment transfer to the next level so obviously ripple is is really trying to take business away from swift um and i think they are ready to do that they have the technology they have the team um and they are growing they're getting more banks on board and they are solving a problem um now here's a quote from the um president and and ceo of krungzi the transactions were successfully completed within a few seconds versus at least one to three business days under the previous system this was this this reflects the innovative strength of ripple's technology that will drive the thai business sector towards faster expansion now imagine this here happening across the world globally in different countries where, where there's multiple banks multiple financial institutions multiple industries that are sending payments and things back and forth and ripple is able to increase the speed lower costs and provide transparency guys this is really going to be huge this is this is real world real use cases solving real problems a real company so i'm not and this is not to shed say it's anything bad about bitcoin or any of the other cryptos but if you look at the other icos and the other companies and so forth um i don't see this type of use cases or actual results being published or shown where we're working with actual businesses and entities ripple is way ahead guys way ahead this is why i'm invested in it I, i'm looking at it as a, you know like if i want to make the analogy of the internet and and when uh you know you had your in the early 90s you had your your alta vistas and your netscapes and your yahoos and so forth right um and what happened to them when when google came out and did it better and and made it made their search was the search results faster and cleaner and better user interface google grew and i'm i'm looking at ripple like a google where they are doing it better they're actually solving an issue um and they're getting banks on board and the banks are seeing great results so that's why i'm i'm completely on board with ripple and you know i still support bitcoin and these uh, and litecoin and ethereum and so forth and i absolutely believe in the mission of, of bitcoin but at the same time if i i can't ignore what's happening here at ripple and and i i believe in the technology and, and, the, and it's gonna really pan out for the banks and it's gonna imp actually impact the price of xrp um, so I actually expect more partnerships like this to be announced. So as you, you can see, Ripple is, they're ready. As soon as they get the great results, they're publishing it. It's coming out. So I expect a lot more to uh, come out in early 2018. And, and I think it's going to be a huge year for Ripple, guys. Uh, I, I'm going to, because we've heard about, you know, different banks partnering with them but we haven't seen results yet well we have to give it time right the banks have to test that ripple net some of them are using xrp for example like sbi holdings group um it, which is a japanese conglomerate um of banks um and some are using ripple net but as ripple's uh team and their ceo and so forth folks have come out and said the goal is to get the banks on board get them to start using ripple whether it's xrp or ripple net and, and some of these other their other technologies and once they've established that partnership and there's a good uh, you know kind of rapport between ripple and the banks they can then introduce xrp to them now um i don't think we have to wait till then to see the value of xrp to increase as we're seeing right now it jumped up to 70 something cents right as ripple's partnerships grow as as um you know more people learn about it as well uh, i believe the value will go up but once you get one of these major banks you know like let's say a JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, whatever it is, one of those major banks to come on board and start using it, I, the price will skyrocket for sure. Um, because we are not talking about, uh, you know, just some random ICO here, guys. We're talking about real world use cases. We're talking about a business, Ripple, actually solving a problem, an issue, making life better for the banks and the transfer of money, which would then, of course, translate over to the consumers. So let's say you're trying to send money, I don't know, to your family in, in the UK or whatever, and you don't want to use Western Union, whatever it is, right? Think about it, if you, you transfer money super fast with a with, with bank that's using XRP, um, and how easy that would be for you and, and beneficial for you, but also beneficial for the banks. So I think great things are ahead. And I really want to highlight this um, this story here because I think it's 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 definitely 
uh, an important step in Ripple's um, growth and also just because of the use case, it, 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 the unique issue that's happening here with that bank and, and the South Asia, South East Asian uh, petrochemical company. So I would love to hear what you guys think. Did you hear about this story? Uh, I'm going to put a link to the article on Ripple's website in the description of this video. So be, be sure to go check it out, read it. And um, what do you guys think about this? I think this is great news. I think more of these use cases are going to come out and, um, and I expect more banks to come on board, more partnerships to be announced. And um, it looks like there's just great results that are coming out from, from these partnerships with, with banks and Ripple. So I'm excited. And also want to remind you guys, I'm actually giving away 100 XRP uh on december 20th so stay tuned for that you have to be subscribed to my channel you have to like the the uh the giveaway video and you have to leave a comment with your xrp wallet address so i'll be giving away 100 xrp uh, 50 to two lucky um winners so 50 each um so you got you got a chance of you have two chances of winning so be sure to check that out um and leave your comments in the comment section below if you like this video please thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more of uh, videos on Ripple and cryptocurrencies. Talk to you guys later.